Hi YouTube, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be demonstrating this mini artwork entitled Ready to Pick. It's drawn on Clairefontaine pastel matte paper and I'm using Sennelier Soft Pastels, Faber-Castell Pastel Pit Pencils, and Par Conte Paris Sticks. I start out by sketching out the outline for the tomatoes and the branches. It's okay if I'm using a darker color to sketch out this outline because once I come over top with the other colors and blend that out, you're not really going to see the outline in the background anymore. Once I have a general idea of where everything's going to go, I start locking in the general colors of the background. It doesn't matter so much that I have the exact right color to begin with. I'm just trying to cover up the white of the paper and get a general mid-tone value established. And then I'm going to come over top with other colors to bring out the highlight and get the color to a little, or bring the color closer to where I want it to be. One of the things that I really like about using pastel is that if you've got a blurry background, it's really easy to establish that fairly quickly. With pencil crayon, for example, you have to spend a lot of time coloring and layering the color so that it's highly saturated and you have to spend a lot of time getting that really soft blended look. Whereas with pen pastels, you can just block in the color very loosely and then blend it out with your finger and then come over top with more color, blend it out, and it's just so quick and you get a really nice, soft, blurry look very, very easily. One of the things that I've learned about doing plants and um, scenery where there's, there's green in it is that you don't want to start off with a really bright green to begin with. I find that it just looks really unnatural and it's, I don't know, like I, I really love the color of a really bright, vibrant green, but when you use it for plant life, it doesn't look very good. So in this picture, I started out with more of an olive green and now I'm going over top with the brighter green just to add a little bit of of highlight or to adjust the, the mid-range color. I'm not using it to begin with. And I think that it, it, it comes up with a much more natural look. Now that I have the background basically where I want it to be, I start working on the main subject of the picture, which is the sun gold tomatoes. Now the thing that I really love about sun gold tomatoes I mean, besides the taste, is just the bright orange color of them. And when you're looking to pick the sun gold tomatoes, that's the color that you're looking for. So you'll have a string of green tomatoes, and then right at the top, there will be a cluster of three tomatoes that are bright, bright, bright orange. And you just know that those are the ones that are ready to pick. And I really wanted to capture that really bright, vibrant color. So for the base color of these tomatoes, I used a really strong, highly saturated yellow and red and mixed those together to make a really bright, bright orange. And then I came over top with more neutral colors to kind of tone it down a little bit in some areas. But that really bright color, because it's in the background, it'll, it'll shine through really well and it makes the tomatoes pop out. Once I've got the general color areas blocked in, I co come over top with the Conte Paris sticks and the pastel pencils to better define the edges of the subject, to darken some areas and add shadows and add highlights, and basically just better define everything. Because before it was very fuzzy, very out of focus, um, and now I'm bringing that from a more simple color map to something that is more defined. I'm bringing a little bit more blue into the background because it's the, as the complementary color of orange, 
it will make that bright orange color really stand out if it's paired right next to the complementary blue color. After I had finished, I realized that the leaf in the corner stood out way too much, so I just smudged it out with my finger a little bit to push it more into the background. And that's it for this piece. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time!